Hey soul family, what's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa and I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. And I'm just getting back from vacation. My cat is totally in love with me, traumatized kitty PTSD from me being gone. So she's probably going to do this a lot of the video. Just FYI, her name is Lady Sassy Pants. Hey, nice to meet you say hi. She's like, no, I just need you to pet me. Anyway, my name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. And I'm doing the darn thing today for cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the cross watcher. This is going to be a very general energy. So please keep that in mind. Okay. That means that not all of the messages are going to resonate for every single person. So please take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. Nothing resonates at all. Check your moon rising and your Venus. Hi, baby. And if those don't resonate, definitely feel free to dig in the crates and check some of the older readings. All right, time, energy, it's all fluid. When you see it, when you hear it, it's when you're meant to see and hear it, okay? Um, what else? Anything you need to know about me, like the cards I use in my readings, um, following me on social media, you can find that stuff down below, last but not least. Make sure if anything resonates for you. If you get any nuggets from this, you show your girl some love. Smash my love button. It's no longer a like button. It's a it's a love button. Okay, share some love with us. Say lady sassy pants and we'll share some back, right? Uh, show some love. All right, and last but not least, subscribe if you're not already subscribed for more amazing catness. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's get going, Cancer. Let's check in for um, June 15th to the 30th for you, okay? Talk to me, Spirit, about Cancer, please. Talk to me about Cancer. What's going on with Cancer? What do they need to know? What do we need to speak about? Okay. Oh boy, you got some drama here. This is interesting. This seems similar to who was it? Was it Aquarius? Are you guys dealing with an Aquarius or have heavy Aquarius in your chart? You could. Overall energy is the four of swords. Could be taking a break from somebody, trying to heal, resting and recuperating, okay? Under the deck, we have queen of pentacles. And let's get, let's see what the challenge is right now for you. Okay, Cancer. <clears throat> Seven of Swords. Wow. Okay, could be a deception, could be going back and forth, not being able to make up the mind, the person looking back at the past here. Okay. All right, so let's take a look. So we're starting out with Judgment, Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, and the Devil. And I'm feeling like there was some sort of confusion. I almost feel like you were in this like fight for yourself, if that makes sense. Um, with Judgment, this can represent, uh, you know, g getting another chance, wanting another chance at something or somebody coming back from the past. So for some of you, I feel like there's this person that came back from the past and may have made you feel very confused, okay? Or this was somebody who entered in your life and then suddenly it brought a lot of confusion. You had to maybe, I almost feel like this is really fighting. This doesn't feel like setting boundaries. This literally feels like beating somebody off of you. Um, but there was maybe a lot of arguing, maybe having to really stand your ground or fight for yourself here. And then we have the devil in this connection as well. So there's some sort of uh, really toxic energy here where uh, I almost feel like somebody just kept violating your boundaries or somebody keep crossing the boundaries and you have to keep beating this person, you know, off in a sense, like stop doing that. There could be a, a lot of argument or something that ends up coming up in here. Okay. Um, we have the lovers under this judgment. This could very well have been, a, excuse me. Yeah, we're not going there. This could very well have been a twin flame. We have a really good relationship. Yes. You may not go on the table. Okay. You may not go on the table. Uh, it could have very well been a twin flame, quite possibly a Gemini here. Okay. Um, but 
again, I get this back and forth, rushing back and forth energy of somebody coming and going, okay? Or um, just a really reckless individual. This person has like a reckless sort of wild kind of, I don't know. It's like they make you, they make you crazy or something, right? We have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So we do have a perfect pair here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Again, like I said, I'm picking that up uh, heavily that you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm also getting Gemini very strongly, Capricorn. Um, those are the ones that I'm getting the strongest here, okay? So we have a pair and I feel like somebody's kind of turning their back on this connection. I don't know if it's you or them, but we're gonna go ahead and clarify. Uh, the overall energy being the Four of Swords is telling me that it's quite possible you guys are no longer talking to each other, okay? Or you're just trying to get your head around all of this, all right? It's almost like somebody returns and the madness ensues. <laughs> like they return, the madness ensues. Uh, so not good energy. It's real, real toxic. Okay. Is from what I'm getting. What are you doing? Are you trying to play with this? Okay. There it is. Uh, 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 oh, okay. So that's probably going to be a noise we're going to listen to for a while. She's normally not that cat, but today apparently she is. So <laughs> here she goes. <laughs> All right. All right. So um, let's take a deeper dive and see what's going on here, okay? The challenge is the Seven of Swords. I feel like to some degree that could be that in out, but we'll clarify it too. Tell me why we have judgment here, please, for Cancer. Tell me why we have judgment here for Cancer. Guys, I am like hats all day. I am working from home since I got back from my vacation uh, two days ago. And literally it's like the greatest thing that ever happened to me because I can be like this all day. And so sorry, I'm not dressed. Why do we have judgment here? <laughs> all right. Knight of swords. What did I say? Somebody that's been going in and out, in and out. And I don't, and I don't mean the clockwork orange in, or, in and out, in and out. Uh, what I mean is somebody coming and going and somebody's again that crazy energy of rushing back in here they want a rebirth they want a new start they want a second chance okay so somebody is really looking for a second chance and i almost feel like this person was willing to like tell you whatever you needed to hear in order for them to have a second chance okay why do we have seven of cups here <clears throat> uh, ten of swords in reverse letting go of the past with the high priestess your intuition feels like it's working on overtime. I, I want to say I feel like this person has convinced you to like let go of some stuff or maybe you got over it, but there's a lot of illusions and dreaminess going on here, okay? If this is not a person coming back, maybe you're imagining this person coming back and like the past being the past you're not feeling that betrayal anymore you're trying to trust this person um but with the high priestess it tells me there's mystery like this is i always get that kind of shrouded in mystery energy um and it's really making me feel very sketched out with the seven of cups so i'm feeling like there's just sort of this illusional energy that's around this that is very highly confusing because somebody's keeping some things hidden here okay what are they keeping hidden now that we're asking what's what's being hidden they might be in another relationship here with the four of wands it's quite possible somebody who wants a marriage somebody's hiding that they need a you know an engagement a bigger level of commitment something like that this person may want to get engaged with you but i feel like crazy ass energy off this person why is the seven of wands here please tower moment damn okay sudden realization possibly setting boundaries or fighting here what else what else <clears throat> justice in reverse uh, this could be a divorce, a breakup um, with justice in reverse, justice in the upright. Somebody could be in jail. 
okay? We could have a person that's in jail or going to jail due to some sort of argument or fight here, but with justice in reverse, it's it's also telling me that things are really, really out of balance here. Um, with the tower, it's like suddenly, boom, big realization, things are not in balance. There's a lot of arguing, carrying on, fighting with somebody, having to set your boundaries, okay? So I feel like that's what's that's kind of what's happening in this situation for you cancer okay it's not healthy it's not healthy at all <laughs> this is really bad juju you know what i mean it's bad juju okay tell me why the devil's here why is the devil here in cancers reading please what's this devil about thank you six of wands in reverse and six of pentacles in reverse somebody okay so excuse me that cat hair is like getting to me so this is i almost feel like what i get the strongest is this is not recognizing that there that something's wrong here okay uh it almost feels like denial like somebody's in denial that anything's wrong here but there's a lot that's wrong here. There might be some money issues. And also, you know, it's like, I feel almost like if somebody could be really jealous over another person, having the kind of recognition that they have uh, with the six of wands, it's winning when it's in the reverse, it's not winning at getting this um, reciprocity here. Okay. The devil talks about temptations. It talks about being codependent. Okay. Um, somebody here may be codependent for attention and money. All right. Not that they're truly in love because I ain't got no cups out here. So you got a soul sucker on your hands is what I'm feeling like. Okay. Cancer. I don't know who this is. You could be the person that keeps going back to somebody for money and attention. I have no idea, but this, this is a toxic relationship. Okay. It's a very, it feels really weird. Twin flamey, like the just back and forth. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? The damn devil. Are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> Oh man. Oh yeah. This is a very sexual energy, but we have the, uh, the knight of wands in reverse. This is somebody who has anger issues, manipulation. This is a fucking narcissist. Okay. Excuse my language, but this person feels very, very narcissist. This could be a twin flame. This person is the kind of person who takes advantage of people. I feel like a uh, very narcissistic. Okay. Does not know how to handle their power um, likes to manipulate people. Very, very super charming. Okay. So, wow. I'm like feeling this person, like, get out of here, dude. Like whoever you're dealing with, honey, run. Okay. <laughs> run. Here we go with that daggone knight of swords. Why is the knight of swords here? I just want to, I like want to get this person. Why is the knight of swords here, please? Queen of swords. Okay, trying to cut this connection off. Why else? Thank you. Working at cutting this connection off or having worked really hard right on yourself to to like see this happening here. Okay. I'm not going to say that any relationship is easy. I know that they are not easy. I'm not going in on y'all. If you're dealing with somebody who is a narcissist and you're in love with that person, I could tell you a story about somebody who lived with me and I was madly in love with last year, who was my quote unquote twin flame, you know, um, and, and I know how hard it is to pull away from somebody you feel such a connection with, but y'all, this person is not ripe. Okay, this is cutting that person off and trying to stop them from coming back again or in and out. Okay, working on it, learning, you're learning, you're getting wise. This is about choosing yourself, speaking your truth and not letting anybody smush you. Okay, don't let people smush you. Alrighty, why do we have the king of swords here, please? Why do we have the king of swords here? Page of cups, person wants to apologize. Look. I'm so tired of these people coming back. Like, I'm so sorry. Look, okay, go get it from somebody else. Why else? Why else is the King of Swords here? Death. 
okay somebody wants this connection to change they want to come back i think they want to apologize with the page of cups they want to express how they feel about you how you know they love you yada 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 you guys know the deal but i think you know that once you step in a pile of poop it smells like poop and you're really not trying to smell poop who really wants to smell poop right <laughs> it, my dad always said i know 20 people are going to repeat this if it smells like crap it's probably crap if you step it in it smells like shit it's shit all right spade a spade why do we have the queen of swords here this is boss mode thank you very much yes look you're like hell no you keep it pushing all right satan not today the devil came up twice in this reading y'all this person is toxicity and i mean like toxicity of the city like system of a down toxicity this person you're you're cutting them off you do not want another new cycle with this psychopath you just want to move forward doing your own thing this person be making you lose money time and energy and when you do, things are going to start working out for you, okay? Your financial situation is going to move forward. This person's holding you back, Cancer, straight up. Every time you let this person back in, they suck it out again, okay? So, uh, you know, here they come. Ooh, baby, 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 let me sweet talk you, okay? Hell no. Tell me this person's next moves because now I'm nosy. What's this person's next move for Cancer? with this apology oh look they're still gonna have some secrets though <laughs> but, you know don't play me don't play me what's the next move again what else they got five of wands just more drama just more drama arguments problems okay outside influences just more negative stuff okay they're probably hiding that they got other people that to talking to you or dramas in their life that they're creating you could very well be dealing with somebody who you know we got temperance you guys need to heal okay we, we could be dealing with somebody who's got issues with like going in and out of jail too i don't know why i'm picking that up really powerfully but i am okay why is the four of swords here is overall energy the fool yeah investment in yourself okay taking a leap of faith aries energy all right this is starting over again you are cutting this person off or you need to cut this person off so you can start over again so you can heal so you can have a new beginning so you can take taking a leap of faith you know sometimes it's scary to get away from what feels familiar especially if somebody is abusive if this person is abusive I, I can't, you know, tell you what to do with your life. All I can say is please get yourself to safety, you know, lean on the support of your family and your friends. There are programs out there for you, okay? Because I feel like there could be somebody who this person would actually physically strike a person, okay? And that makes me feel really super uncomfortable. Like I want to find whoever this is, okay? Why we have the queen of pentacles, <clears throat> you're really stressed right now about your home life your home situation and money okay you could be very very stressed that was the uh energy that's on the bottom of the deck there's a lot of anxiety you could even be suffering from depression okay because maybe this person has kind of just really drained you on every sort of level all right um why or were those all upside down all right let's look some more because your girl gonna dig we're gonna talk about it all okay i'm so sorry this is happening to you guys what else do we have here please you could have been married to this person or engaged but what else you got to recognize for something here you got the high honor card out what else for cancer thank you talk to me about the spread for cancer toil and labor a lot a lot of work happening here maybe even working overtime um so and some of you could be doing like really really hard work which i think is really freaking horrible what else but you're weaving your future and you need to keep staying on that thank you okay great fortune guys just just keep going okay 
either you have a lot of money and this person knows it or you have a lot of money coming to you and I feel like it's like a surprise, right? So I feel like there's some surprise money coming through here. But I feel like if this is a person who's just been in and out of your life uh, and toxic, it's like the, the good things can't come through because this person is constantly in taker mode or just energetically like a vampire sucker type, okay? What else do we have here, please, for cancer? Yeah, health. Okay, so we're getting a... a, a a note here about your health the temperance card came out too that can indicate that there's health issues or that you need to take care of your health this person could actually just not be good for your health either but it says I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul so please whatever you do health is wealth believe me I have been on a health journey for the last year year and a half you know, those of you who have been around here, you know your girls lost a ton of weight because I changed everything I ate. You know, my cholesterol was super high and I got my cholesterol down. I'm feeling really good. Please, it's the little things. Please, I implore you, take care of yourself, okay? Because spirit's really bringing it up right now. All right. Um, let's see. No, I'm not going to go here. Actually, I'm going to go here. All right, I'm gonna get another card or two here. Something's coming out here. There's some sudden realization. I just saw what looks like the tower card again. Okay, let's see what else we got. <clears throat> this person doesn't, I don't know. It's, there's there's non-committal energy here. There's constant fight. I don't like this. What do we have here for cancer? What else? Seduction, stabbed in the back. Okay, yeah. I, like I said, this person is very, very charming. They'll try to seduce you. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So we could have a third party uh, interference here. But I feel like this person is just very tempting. It's like great sex. It's like, you know, crazy you know off the chain or this person is just so attractive somehow that you maybe you can't explain it makes you you know um, end up being seduced by them and i think that they know that okay i think that they know that and we have stabbed in the back heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack okay so literally like i said i feel like somebody's literally fighting somebody off okay and so we have it showing up again guys please make sure if this person is a physically abusive person you know please get get your way out of this relationship okay grim reaper that's the final card they they're very clear that's the final card the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life so now is the perfect time for you cancer to grow and change your life and get this person out of it okay because they're just taking they're just sucking everything that they possibly can all right and i feel like you've worked so hard to get where you are that once you are able to release this person it's like you know like fully release them not just get them out but like release them energetically people will cause us ptsd and trauma and dude that stuff's hard to heal from okay believe you me guys all right so this is what I have for you, Cancer. Thank you, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. And I appreciate you clicking on this video. If anything resonated for you at all, please go ahead, smash my love button, show me some love in return since I work off love. And uh, if anything really, really resonated and you wanna come back and see me again, please go ahead, subscribe, become part of my tribe, like it. Talk to me down below. Tell me all the things. All right, guys. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you again soon. Bye.